He called you T-Rex arms. Might as well, I mean. Hey, man. What do you think about that, man? He says you have T-Rex arms. He said you're too short, too small. Basically, his length will, pick, will be the biggest difference in this fight. You know, usually most of my opponents are bigger than me. But um, you see what happened. You see what, what happened to them. Uh, it's easy to say uh, something before the fight, but when we get to the ring, it will change. Did you, you had the option of, I heard on the DS, you had the option to pick. So that means you could have picked Sean Porter, Earl Spence, Danny Garcia, Mikey Garcia. You chose Keith Thurman because of his last performance, or do you believe just overall you're just a better fighter? Actually, I didn't saw his uh, last fight. Uh -huh. The last fight, I didn't saw that. Um, I just picked Keith Thurman because he's, I believe that uh, we can create more action. He's a uh, uh, he can fight, uh, and then he's undefeated, so I think uh, will create more action. But I, I, uh, honestly, I didn't watch the last fight. You didn't fight. watch the last fight? Maybe. Maybe. Right, right now, right now did you're fight, Did your fight against Bruno, like you said, Keith likes to fight and you like that. Does your fight against Bruno kind of make you want a fighter like that? Make you want a fighter that's going to fight you and not run away? I thought he's with, you know, before the fight with uh, Bruno, he said uh, he will fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, he will be aggressive. But in the fight, it, it, it changed. In, in the ring, it changed. It's moving around. But this Keto man, he said that he will fight to do to, 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 to with me. Um, I, I believe that because he's a greasy fighter and he's, I think I believe that we can create more action in the ring and yes. be, the fans are going to be happy. Man, Manny, Keith said that he's been boxing for 23 years. You've been a professional for 24. How do you feel that experience is you know, going to help you come I, fight night? I think it is. I started boxing 11 years old. So I've been boxing 29 years, old, 29 years in my career. And I turned pro 1995, so that's 24 years in a professional experience. So I think that, that experience is a very uh, effective and useful. And can I say something for a second? Yes. When, when Keith turned pro, Manny already was a three-division world champion. He had beat Morales twice, he had beat Barrera twice, and he drew with Marquez. So you gotta kinda keep that in perspective of what kind of experience that Manny's bringing to the table. Do you, Manny, feel, do you feel that it's the same situation with Oscar De La Hoya as you did to him? And he's what, is, is that what he's trying to do to you and your career? That's what he said, but uh, I mean, uh, I, I, I told him I'm not, I'm not Oscar De La Hoya, I'm different than him. Uh, the way I work hard, the way I train, I, I, I prepare for my for my fight, I'm, I'm still motivated, I'm still, uh, the desire is still there, 100%, nothing, nothing to worry about. Uh, I love to work hard, I love, I love to train hard. That's, that's what I feel. Do that what, yeah, I do Manny, I'm watching his tapes. Manny, hey Manny, do that offend you when he talks about putting you to sleep or ending your career? Do that offend you in any way? No, it, it will but it will give give me more motivation. It does. Okay. Yeah, it's good. and I like it's that. Different. I like that because it, it you know give it, more. Manny, gives you some Manny, excitement, man. Manny, some excitement. you've had seven Manny. professional fights. Amazing. You're in the king of boxing right now. Out of all your opponents, who talked the most trash? Out of seventy opponents. Oh, not this guy. Not, not, this, guy. <laughs> not this guy. <laughs> Manny, have you decided where your training camp's gonna be? Um, I'm going to start in, in, in the Philippines. In fact, I already started in the Philippines right now. I just stopped when we came here for a press conference. When I get back, I show my, my training. And then, uh, one month before, I came here. So you will be a wild card for about a month, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Man, in watching Keith Thurman's style of boxing, what do you think you have to prepare for more for this fight? Style and I have a, a couple of strategies and techniques about 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 the style. So fighting at age four, you feel like you're in top shape. You're always in condition. But are there any signs at your age that time is ticking? Uh, no. Um, any indication? You know, I, I tell you this. My feelings and when I was uh, younger, early twenties. Uh, my desire to work hard, my, to, to, to focus, to train hard, is still there. I mean, I'm, the, the interest of 
working hard in the gym is still there. Nothing, you know, it will let it, it, it not change. He said yesterday that he wants to retire you. He, he just sat in that seat and said if you beat him, he would consider retiring. Does that motivate you? Would that motivate you to want to retire him? He want to retire. He said he would bow down in the ring. Yeah. When you beat him. He called you old senator. Old senator. He was well, okay. <laughs> Manny, how much longer do you want to box? You know, right now, boxing is my passion. I love it, I love boxing. How are you able to convince your wife every time to keep on coming back? <laughs> actually, actually, if, I, if you think, I don't need boxing, I don't need to continue my career boxing. Yeah, absolutely right. I'm a senator, I'm busy in my office like that. But, you know, I feel like empty and lonely when, when I don't have boxing in my career, in my life. So, boxing is my passion and I want to, you know, working hard. You know, even without uh, schedule, I, if I don't have a, a, a schedule fight, I'm still working out every day, playing basketball for four hours, five hours a day. Um, work out. How many more years can you do it? You have two trainers in your corner. You have two trainers in your corner. How does that dichotomy work out? Are you, who are you listening to? Is there any confusion I, over there sometimes? No, both of them are uh, very, very coordinated. And uh, teamwork since before, uh, nothing to worry about. They're uh, combining each other, the knowledge and suggestion. Good, pretty good. Earl, Manny, what do you think about uh, what do you think about his comments that he wants to do to you what you did to Oscar De La Hoya? <laughs> uh, like I said, uh, I'm not Oscar De La Hoya. I'm different. Manny, uh, what are the differences yeah, gotcha. between Al Heyman and Javier? Uh, Heyman, you're working so close to him. Um, I'm gonna say uh, uh, I don't want to offend uh, anybody. Uh, they're both promoter. Uh, Al is a nice guy. He's a nice person. Um, I can say uh, Bob is a, he helped me a lot. Um, I started with Bob Arum. He you know he, he helped a lot in my career. So I cannot say you know I am kind of person that you know, I don't want to um, to say bad 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 things about him because because of, of my success I always thankful to my to the people who who contribute uh, you know contribute to my career. Like what I'm talking about. Even you, media, I'm, you know, you, you helped me a lot because without you, how can be, you know, Mani Pacquiao, I can be Mani Pacquiao, right? So, that, that's, I appreciate all those uh, effort and help uh, that people contribute to me, being uh, successful in my career, right? Is but in, in that success in my life, I don't put that in my head. I just, I just want to be normal, simple life, simple, simple fit person. Uh, I'm not thinking that I'm a world champion, I'm a senator, I'm a, I just want to be a simple living person. You know, you know what I'm talking about? I'm, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm a, I'm a champion, I'm a senator. I'm not like that. I, mean, I just want to be simple, like that, be friendly and to everybody. Has Al Heyman told you about Floyd Mayweather coming back? Who do you like the most? Who do you like in history the most? Which box? Who's your favorite? My, you know, it's hard to say. My my, my favorite. Uh, a lot of uh, fighters as good fighters in terms of uh, skills. Uh, there's a lot uh, like De La Hoya, Sugar Leonard, Munich Richard Chavez, uh, my, uh, Mike Tyson, Ivan Holyfield, uh, Lennox Lewis. There's a lot of but. Um, I cannot say because I don't know them. I don't know what their attitude or their, I mean, the way they, they treat each other. But uh, for me, as as a, as a boxer, I want I want to be uh, an inspiration and uh, role model to everybody. That fame is not important to me. Fame is not success is not important to me. I don't put that in my head. I just want to be living simple. Friendly to everybody. Now, as long as, as, long as I interview, you've been fighting, okay. As long as you've been fighting, what is the greatest lesson that you have learned throughout your whole career to this sport? To this sport, is, um, we interview people, nothing personal. Uh, nothing personal to, to my opponents who beat me and I beat them. Like, you know, nothing personal. This is our job, this is our work. We interview people, we do our work, we do our job in, in the ring. But we should be. 
friendly and outside the room. I interviewed, I interviewed Bob Arum in February, and I'm going to quote him as close as I can. He said basically that he protected you from Terrence Crawford because he didn't want to, he wanted to save your career, preserve your career. You know, I've been asking for Crawford since before. He gave it to me, Crawford, and, <laughs> and then they gave it to me. Are, Are you, you still out? No, no. Now, Manny, at 40, do you still feel like uh, you were at, uh, when you were uh, 30 years old? Yeah, I don't feel like 40 years old. Two minutes, you guys. Two minutes. This is just a number. Many, uh, 40 uh, is the new 30. Many, uh, Manny, you, I agree. <laughs> Manny. 40 is the new 30. <laughs> Manny, you feel like you're going to 40 is the new 30. Manny, uh, okay. Manny <laughs> Las, the Las Vegas <laughs> odds makers are saying Keith Thurman is the betting favorite. Following his... Uh, Subpar performing against Lopez. Do you feel he deserves to be the odds maker? That's what I like. That's what I want. It gives me more motivation. Manny, Manny going back to you, having worked with both sides with the uh, USC. When was the last time you? Were Are you gonna bet on yourself? I don't bet. <laughs> Who wins the championship in NBA this year? Not yet. Milwaukee Bucks in uh, Toronto is a tie. Manny. Ten years ago, you fought Cotto and Hatton in 2009. If I would have told you then, you're still going to be fighting ten years from now in 2019, would you have believed it? Is it hard for you to believe at age 40 you're still fighting? It's hard to believe. I mean, uh, that's that's God's favor, God's blessing. You know, give me strength. Alright guys, that's one. Manny, have you finally moved on from Floyd Mayweather? Have you finally moved on from Floyd? He's retired already, so... Yeah. He has to. He has to. <laughs> so, <laughs> why do you... So, why do you... Why do you... Guys, guys, he's gotta go, he's gotta go. The quote today from Jeremiah. Let's get him all around, let's get him all around. Don't lose your eye, I'll shuffle him. Yes. Mr. Thurman. Yes, sir. Talk to us about your enthusiasm for this fight, you guys. I mean, how can I not be excited, man? You know, I'm fighting a legend, a living legend. You know, uh, those who know about Keith Thurman know I wanted Floyd, I wanted Manny, I wanted everybody at the top the day I hit number 10 on the spot, you know? Um, I believe that I was always going to be here. It was just a matter of time. Um, you know, it's just an exciting fight, man. Back in Vegas, I haven't fought in Vegas in many years. You know, headliner, pay-per-view. You, we're in LA, man, so you know, lots of Manny fans are here, lots of Manny supporters, man. And you know, he might uh, fill the ring up with a lot of uh, Asians, but at the end of the day, man, he's not gonna be able to surpass my skills, my talent, and everything that I've got coming for him. Keith, you said you were crucify him. Huh? You said you were crucify him. Don't. Don't. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's over, bro. It's over. You know, and the thing is, Manny doesn't like to talk because talk doesn't do nothing. But, you know, unless if you're going to do what you say you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? So for me, you know, it's not about selling the fight. It's about living my best life. My best life is Keith Thurman knocking out Manny Pacquiao. Not Keith Thurman in a 12-round decision, in a split decision, in a majority decision, in a, in a draw, in a loss. My best life. Living my best life. Ain't going back to fuck. Look, bro. We we on a whole new level. I was out of the game. The game wasn't that exciting. I'm back in the game. Look at the excitement I'm bringing, baby. Look what's happening right now. You know, I mean, I unified. I was number one. People argue this and that. But, you know, when I put the stamp, when I make him exit stage left, you know, the world will know Keith One Time Thurman is back and he's the baddest boy in the Walter Wade division. How about you pick your size? Look, my, my size is going to be um, a problem, but it's not that's not a weight size advantage. It's the overall um, reach advantage, you know? Um, Manny Pacquiao has T-Rex arms. I don't know if you noticed that. He's got these little T-Rex arms. He had a hard time beating up Jeff Horn. He thinks he's going to beat up Keith Thurman. You know, I mean... Manny Pacquiao, they, they had the quote wrong. 
I said Adrian Broner didn't hit him in the face. I didn't say that Manny Pacquiao cannot get hit in the face. His name is not Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather does not get hit in his face. Manny Pacquiao gets hit in his face all the time. Adrian Broner just didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming to do it. Back at the MGM brand, you know, I want him to remember what it's like to be against a real fighter, to be up against a puncher, like when he was fighting uh, amongst Eric Morales, when it, when he was um, uh, uh, fighting Marquez, you know? And, and I'm bigger than Marquez, you know? I'm faster than Marquez, and my, my ring IQ, you know, that's one thing that people don't understand about Keith One Time Thurman. I'm an adaptive fighter. I look at your, what you're throwing at me, I look at your gimmicks, and I find the next gimmick that takes away from everything that you're doing. So to me, he's not touching me. He ain't landing nothing with them T-Rex arms. He's hopping in and out, and he's gonna get caught in the process. There's not one round I see Manny Pacquiao winning. Can you not with his ability to, to throw a lot of punches? He's, he's a punch thrower. Punches and bunches is kind of what he's known for. You not concerned with that at all? He didn't throw that many punches his last fight. Okay, he didn't throw a lot, you know? Did he? Yeah, they throw a lot. Into the fight. They didn't throw a lot, you know? And punches and bunches, that might have happened five some years ago. If you're on the ropes, he started to tee off on A, B on the ropes, you know? So if, if, if I let him get me on the ropes, I think he's going to feel more comfortable. To me, Manny Pacquiao's not the same fighter. Uh, he's a tremendous fighter, but ever since he got laid out, he's more cautious. And I'm going to hit him with a reminder. Remember, I said, I'm going to hit him with a reminder, okay? And I'm pretty sure he's going to be very cautious. You know, senators, they like to think nowadays. You know, senators got to think, you know what I'm saying? So after I remind him, I hit him with that reminder, we're going to see how he ends up fighting the fight. Do you think Broner was a gun-shy fighter? Look, man, I think... I think Broner's really good at running his mouth. That's what he's really good at. He doesn't put it, I don't know how much he runs his feet in his training camps, and he's definitely not running his hands around in the ring. So I said years ago at the MGM Grand, I forget who I was talking to, I said, man, y'all got to get the clicker out and just get that boy to up his punch count. I was team Broner. This is a big fight for me. I wanted this fight the whole time. But I was in Broner's corner because I believe we're in a new generation. Manny Pacquiao is done. Floyd Mayweather is done. And Manny's just one year younger. That means he shouldn't last more than one year after Floyd. And we're at that pinnacle right now. So, I mean, I mean it when I say this is Manny Pacquiao's last fight. He's the big name. Oscar was the big name that he was fighting, you know? He's the big name. I'm trying to make a name, and that's the whole premise of this fight, is that I'm going to build my legacy by ending his, you know, and it's just it's just part of boxing, man, this, this is how it works, this is a beautiful story, you know, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, he was in the ring uh, when he wasn't supposed to be in the ring, he took fights that he wasn't supposed to take, many fighters take fights that they're not supposed to take, the only difference is, nobody told him he wasn't supposed to take the fight. Can you talk about his footwork, what are you going to do to court? Footwork isn't that um, spectacular. It's, it's, it's in and out. He's hopping in and out. He's hopping in and out. Why? Because he's got to jump with them T-Rex arms. You know, he can't really hit you. He can't just extend and utilize his reach. He has to jump into the punch. And I think that's going to be a, a major downset in this um, competition because as he's jumping in, I'm countering. You know, and this ain't a Floyd Mayweather counter. This is a Keith One Time Thurman counter. Keith, what was the face off like when you guys faced off twice yesterday, twice today? Did you say anything? Did he say anything? Uh, we're gonna have fun, man. He's a legend. He's fought so many times. You can't intimidate 70, him. Seventy times. You can't, you can't intimidate him. You know. But I don't need to intimidate him. I say you don't gotta be scared to get knock, knocked out. You know what I mean? You don't gotta be scared to get knocked out. You don't gotta be scared to get your ass whooped. You just show up. Your ass get whooped. Just, you know what I mean? So. Look, man, he's got a great team. He's got all his hype people. He's never been in the ring with Keith One Time Thurman. He's never been in the ring with a sparring partner that's anything close to Keith One Time Thurman. Look, I told everybody back in the day, I got to oh, I'm not afraid to let it go. If this 40-year-old man beats me, he beats me. And if he beats me, I mean, we already know he's a bad man, but we're going to know at 40 years old, he a bad man. Because at 30 years old, I'm a bad man. Would you that's retire what we're going to see. Would you huh? retire if he wins? 
Probably. Probably. I'd at least think about it. I'd at least, I'd at least just be like, uh, can I do some more commentating or something? Can I do some more commentating? Mama said I look good in a suit. I don't think she want to see her boy getting punched on TV, being getting beat up by old men. You know, like I said, man, I fought many veterans, man, and I respect veterans. And veterans are, are what uh, help fighters like me, you know. Um, and this ain't going to be the first veteran I retire, you know. Um, Carlos Quintana. Carlos Quintana uh, fought Keith Thurman. At the presser, he said, after Keith Thurman, I want Canelo Alvarez. There was no fight after Keith Thurman, okay? Sometimes they don't know until somebody shows them the truth. You have to be, you have to be presented. Manny Pacquiao is a tremendous fighter. He's a world champion, ex-world champion, a legend. But I do not believe, you can, I don't, you can, I won't. I do not believe that he belongs at the top of 147 today. Not against me, not against Errol, not against Crawford, not against Sean, not against Danny Garcia. Who's at the top of that list? Who's at the top of that list you just named off? Who's at the top of that list? Keep going, Tom Thurman. Come on now. Do you feel as if you deserve to be the favorite to win the fight? Of course. Of course. Of course. Numbers don't lie. You want to bet against a dude that's never lost? Against a dude that's lost seven times? You want to put your money? I haven't lost, in, well, I haven't lost to anybody, but even in my whole career as an amateur, you can't bring up my record and show me when I got beaten by a man that's been beaten seven times, okay? I think he thinks, I think he thinks it's the right time. What he don't under it, understand is, I was brushing off the dust, and they saw the dust, it's gone. There ain't gonna be no dust come July 20th. Jose Cito Lopez, we, we brushed that off, baby. We brushed that off, we took the hit. Mm. We took the hit, we showed you what real champs do, and that's stay in the ring, that's stay fighting, that's staying active, okay? When you, when you see Keith Thurman get caught, when you see Keith Thurman in trouble, what do you see? You don't see Keith Thurman panic. You, keep, you see Keith Thurman make calculated decisions. And I'm only going to have to make a few to end this fight. You mentioned, you mentioned the truth, and you said you're only fighting two times this year. Will you desire Earl Spence at the top of 2020 as you desire Manny Pacquiao this year? Not at the top. Everybody wants to rush things. You know what I mean? I still think there's just a little bit more time, even if at the, uh, the later leg of 2020, you know? Um, and that's not, that's not too soon, that's not too late. You know, it's a, it's a great time. Summertime next year, you would like to fight Earl Spence? I mean, any time when negotiations happen, one contract at a time, this is not football, this is not basketball. There's nothing planned in the season. Y'all like to talk about the future. You've been I'm trying to make it. That's why I've been at this. But the thing, is, the thing is, real talk, I've never seen a contract. People talk about ducking this, ducking that. To duck it, you gotta be presented with something and then decline it. That's an official, this guy's not trying to fight that guy. You know? So this never happened to me in my career. I accept all the challenges, especially if it's a great challenge. I also believe that Errol Spence has a little bit more popularity to grow in the sport of boxing. Just maybe not amongst you, not amongst you, not amongst you, not amongst 47,000 fans and 400,000 pay per view buys. For that was, but that's with Mikey Garcia. It doesn't matter. You and it doesn't Earl matter. Spence it does matter. Than Mikey Garcia. It is bigger. It is bigger. Let's make it happen. But let's make sure it's bigger. You win it. Let's make sure it's bigger. And he's gonna and he's gonna elevate himself if he unifies the title that I unified and he gets the WBC. What else did I tell y'all at the start of the year? I'm not fighting Spence for one title. I'm not fighting Spence for two titles. I'm fighting Spence for how many? Three. Thank you. So that means. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm Thank with you. I'm with you. Thank Keith. you. Keith, I'm with you. So Keith, if he you beats, ain't with me. I, no, I'm, I'm with on, you in terms now. of understanding what you're Come saying. Come on now. So Keith, if, he, win, if look, he beats Sean look, Porter and you win, look, fans can expect Keith Earl Thurman Spence in a universe. Keith Thurman against Earl Spence in a unification match. Keith Thurman versus Errol Spence is the next. Floyd Pacquiao is the next Oscar Tito Trinidad. And we need to make sure that the world knows. And after I handle this, and I elevate myself, and he elevates himself, then we fight on another elevated platform. We could have fought two years ago for what? 1.6, 1.8. What's that do? And what's that do for the winner? 
fight for one world title, two world titles. The world needs to know that the winner is the king. I think the world is ready. Bernard Charlo okay. waited too long. How, how does your how does your Keith Thurman's name rise after a victory over Manny Pacquiao? Because kind of what you guys are talking it's a, about. It's a it's a big stepping stone. It's a big it's a big step up. Look, you can say what you want. Keith Thurman made it to number one. He is number one. He's not number one. I don't care. I'm an undefeated champion of the world. I've been doing this for 23 years. I'm a world class fighter. I can take a punch, I can give a punch. I'm great for the sport of boxing. When I wasn't here, were the fights that great? Man, even I miss Keith Thurman. When, <laughs> I, even I miss Keith Thurman. But Keith, when you, you know were gone, what do you think was lost? From the time you beat Garcia, your long layoff, what do you think was lost in your career then, besides time? Nothing, nothing but time. Nothing was really lost. Um, you know, because in the meanwhile, the, the irony of what I, what happened with me is I unified the WBA and the WBC by defeating, undefeated Danny Garcia, okay? I was the first to defeat Danny Garcia. I defeated the undefeated Danny Garcia, unified the titles, had my injury in the fight, never complained. Real talk. And I'm not trying to complain because I knew I could win the fight. I know at 70%, I can beat 90% of the fighters out here, okay? And that's not cockiness, that's just understanding the sport. Jab, 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 duck move, right hand, left hook. Jab, 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 duck move, right hand, left hook. Head, head, body, head, okay? I know how to work. These dudes, even though they know how to work, they sit in front of me, they hesitate. That's why I love the Sean Porter fight, because at least he brought me the fight and he didn't hesitate. Best believe July 20th, when I hit Manny with the reminder, he's gonna hesitate. Uh, what kind of respect would you give to Manny if he beats you? I will bow down in the middle of the ring. I will bow down in the middle of the ring. I'll say, oh, Senator, oh, Senator, great is ye, oh, Senator. Keith, do, do you freestyle now? Or do you prepare for the one-liners making huh? Manny? Just, do you freestyle? Didn't I tell you already? Didn't I tell you last time? What if, tell, I got to tell him again? I got to tell him again? Huh? This is what you call interview bars, okay? I'm not a rapper, I'm not an actor, okay? I'm a world-class fighter, I know the fight game, okay? Blood, sweat, and tears for 23 years? Blood, sweat, and tears for 23 years? How do you, you don't understand, I'm living my dream. Do you know what that feels like? Yeah, of course. Feels great, how does, feels great, how did one magnificent, how did, fantastic, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> How did one time come about? Why that nickname? They could have called you a million names. Like, Look, what? man, because I've been waiting for this one time chance, all right? Because I got this one time to live this dream that I'm living now. Because I have one punch power, you know? I mean, one time is a, is a full spectrum. It's philosophy. Manny Pacquiao, he trying to one time, one time. You know what I mean? That's why I love the name one time. I'm looking for the one time, he's looking for the one time, you looking for the one time, everybody's looking for one time, you know? And in every fight, it doesn't matter if Keith one time thumbs in the ring or not. One time is boxing. It's what boxing fans want to see. Is he going to land that one punch? Is it, what happens when that one punch gets through? Is he down and out? Is he down and gets back up? Is he scared? Is he nervous? You know, I mean, boxing is a beautiful sport, man. It's, it's a tough sport, it's a rough sport, it's a, it's a political sport, but ultimately, it is a lovely, lovely, beautiful sport. Okay, we're gonna, you guys hold, you guys hold right here because we're gonna rotate Pacquiao in this position, and he's gonna switch over there for TV. So, probably in the next, I see Pacquiao moving probably the next couple of three minutes, so one more question. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. 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 What I want to know is, okay, do you believe we're, we're rotating. Man, you owe the here fans now. anything. Okay, and you said no, no to that. No, well, he's gotta go. why don't no. you believe you owe the fans anything? And you want new fans. Why do I owe the fans anything? Okay, when I give the sport everything. All right, we're going. We're I give the sport everything. 
Rotate. How do I owe them anything? Thank you. Thank you.